Hey guys, today we shall be talking about Pokemon. I hope everybody knows about Pokemon. Well, who doesn't know about Pokemon? Let me tell you something. Pokemon, which started way back in 1996, is basically celebrating its 25th anniversary this year. On that eve, we have come across a Pokemon dashboard for you guys. Well, initially you might be thinking, why am I talking about Pokemon on an educational channel? Well, I have one candidate, one of my student named Jay Charole. He has come up with a wonderful Pokemon dashboard created in Power BI. Well, upon asking, he told that he got a motivation from the Money Heist dashboard, which was uploaded a couple of days back in my channel. If you haven't watched the Money Heist dashboard, which was created in Power BI, which was created by Mr. Rakesh, if you remember. you can go back to my channel watch out that video now coming back to pokemon the idea behind this was jay was so motivated from the money heist uh, money heist dashboard he pinged me sir how can i start working on these kind of entertaining webs uh, entertaining dashboards now i just told him follow your passion and the very next day just within one day he scraped a lot of data from the official pokemon website and then created a power bi dashboard that was amazing the looks were amazing the dashboard was amazing as well well in this video i'll be talking about that dashboard i'll be talking about jai as well let's get started now before talking about the dashboard i will talk about the creator so the creator's name is jay he is one of my students and currently he is doing his internships i believe uh, he is currently working somewhere and doing his masters in data science apart from that he has wonderful experience and knowledge into data analytics very good knowledge in power bi i have already seen his work he is fabulous and let me tell you one thing he was also one of the winners at my open eda contest and now he has come up with this pokemon dashboard i wish i could have seen this dashboard earlier i could have given him the winner prize as well but nevertheless we are here with the pokemon dashboard now let me talk about the project first so this is how his dashboard looks like well i'll talk about the features of the project now upon discussing with him i got to know that he has scraped everything from the official pokemon website the pokemon dashboard project which is made on power bi are very rarely available on internet yes i have already checked there are no data sets related to pokemon when it comes to data science and analytics the data sets used in the project are real time scraped data for some reasons we will not be able to share you the scraping uh, the the scraping part the the python part where he has scraped but we will be showing you the data we will be showing you the dashboard there are various websites from which the data is scraped as kaggle only had one single data set with all the information about pokemon so in kaggle there was just one data set but a lot of efforts has been done by jay on the data scraping part so guys if you are liking this channel if you are liking the contents please like share and subscribe the channel so that i get trending on youtube okay jokes apart let's move on the images used in the data sets are scraped from various websites the types of pokemon images are self made images using photoshop wow i didn't knew that i am reading it right away the evolution chart of pokemon shown is not illustrated in any of the project amazing the features of the project are amazing now let me tell you who's your favorite pokemon character please comment down in the comment section below so that i can know who's your favorite i'm sure 90% of the population will be talking about pikachu but let me tell you well my my favorite was pikachu as well okay moving back to the dashboard so this is how the dashboard looks like on power bi desktop it has pokedex it has pokemon evolution it has pokemon table and of course this is ash welcome to pokemon dashboard a very good uh, front page i would say very good front page with three page navigations which is 
Pokédex, Pokemon Evolution, and Pokemon Table. So if you can navigate quickly, so these are your page navigations, as simple as that. And the background is an image, right? Now, if I go to Pokédex, you can see there are various parameters in the top section: fire, fighting, water, ghost. So you can select the type of Pokemon you want. Select the type of scenario you want. And based on the selection, you will be able to get the list of Pokemons. Let's say I want electric. Well, I'm getting all this list of records. Let's say I'm interested in Pikachu. And you can see there is a machine who is, which is giving you a lot of information about Pikachu. Pikachu is an electric type Pokemon introduced in generation one. It is known as the mouse Pokemon. Normal, static, medium, fast, all these are options are there. If you click on this one, you will be navigated to the wiki page of Pokemon. Not the wiki page, of course, but the Pokemon DB. So you, you will be navigating to PokemonDB.net where you can get more information about Pikachu. Okay, moving back to the, the dashboard. If you click on this refresh, the entire selection will be refreshed. So a lot of features has been used. I would recommend you to go through these dashboards by yourself and check out all the information which is required. A lot of information are there. I'll not be covering in depth. And then I'll talk about Pokemon evolution. Now you can select any type again. Let's say I'm selecting electric. I'm getting a list of these Pokemons. Of course, we know that the evolution starts from Pichu to Pikachu to Raichu, right? So Pichu is the level one, level two is Pikachu and level three is Raichu. So you can see, um, you know, a lot of things has been done here. Again, same kind of features in the top and you can select your Pokemon. Of course, this is a fun activity dashboard, guys. So uh, you cannot treat it as a data analytics project for sure. But as I told you in the money highest dashboard as well, sometimes you have to follow your passion and you have to create something unique out of the box. Well, a very good salute to Jay who has created this wonderful dashboard on the eve of 25th anniversary of Pokemon. I really liked it. And this is the final page, which is the Pokemon table. You can simply navigate and see all this information. Pokemon name, medium size images, generation type, all these things, HP, attack, defense, all these things in a kind of a matrix format. Right now I have already published this report and I'll show you the app dot service uh, uh, feature as well. You can see this is my home page. This is my Pokedex page where I can select what I need. All the information I've seen here. You can do a multiple selection here, of course. But uh, if you are selecting one of these Pokemons, I mean, it's not recommended to do multiple selections, right? It will only do the latest selection as this is a slicer. So if I'm selecting Abra or Magby, so accordingly, I will be able to see one Pokemon. And this is a summary of the Pokemon. Let's say Abra. The summary is Psychic. It's a Psychic character. Let's say Magby. So let's say I want Pikachu. I'll see Pikachu. Where is Pikachu? Okay, I'll go to Pikachu. So Pikachu is electric. So this is how your dashboard is created. Moving on to the next page, which is uh, this one. So a lot of things are there here, right? So this is all about this Pokemon dashboard. Let me also show you Jay's, uh, uh, Jay's uh, GitHub repository, which is again done very well. Again, one of the recommendations to all the data analyst enthusiasts who are looking out for data analysis jobs or anybody into data science. Whenever you create a dash, whenever you create a GitHub repository, your readme has to be super clear. It has to be super clean and it has to be visually appealing as well. You can see how beautifully he has created. He has given a picture and then about the project, he has explained all the key features about the project and then which are the tools used about the data set so a lot of information is already provided of course i will leave this link in the description below i hope you like this video in case you like it 
you know what you need to do please like share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified on my future videos that's it from my side we'll come up with some amazing dashboards and amazing projects in the near future as well in case you haven't seen my separate uh, channel which is related to vlogs please go ahead and subscribe that as well in case you want to know the non-technical side of me you want to know the fun side of me then probably go ahead and check out that channel as well that channel's link will also be provided in the description below signing off that's it for this video thank you